Hello, my name is David Melendez, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Samsung 24 inch monitor to your laptop or Surface Pro. So, in this video, I have a Surface Pro connected to a docking station. Now, you may have a laptop or a Surface Pro, a laptop 3, it would be a very similar setup. So, for this setup here, we have two options. We can use the HDMI cable that came with the monitor with the mini display port to HDMI adapter if we're using this docking station or we can use the mini display port to display port cable. So for this example I'm going to go ahead and use this cable. So what you're going to want to do is find the display the mini display port on your docking station and connect the mini side to that. And then you're going to connect the display port end behind the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Next, we're going to want to connect our power cable to the monitor. So this end goes behind the monitor and this end goes to our power source. I'm going to go ahead and connect this cable now. Now once we have the monitor connected to our laptop or docking station, you're going to see that the monitor still has a black screen. What you're going to have to do is find the button on the back of the monitor and go ahead and push the button to power on the monitor. Give it a second and it should turn on and show the picture. Now the power button behind the monitor is also a knob that has your menu for other options. So if your display is still black after turning on the monitor, it just means you have to set it to the right input. And you can do that by pushing the little power knob to the right. That'll bring up this menu. And then you can go up and down with that knob to choose the correct input. So if you have it connected to HDMI, you want to go ahead and choose the HDMI input. If you have it connected to display port, you're going to want to go ahead and choose a display port. I have it connected to the display port. So I'm going to highlight the display port and then you push the button in to select that input device. Once you select the right input device, your image should come on and look just like this. So there is another video uh, that shows how to set up multiple displays that you can watch if you want to know how to set up this correctly once you have your image shown. That concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.